condole with you, and I'm doing this on behalf of, of all the members of Weala and the leadership of the East African community, the Secretary General, the Judge President, all of whom have asked me to come here, and on their behalf, deliver a message of condolence. Uh, the, the passing of late Honorable Jacob Olanya is a big loss, not just to Uganda, but to the region as well, because um, he has been a great leader, and he had a great potential ahead of him. So I would, at the age of 57 or 56, uh, his political potential as a citizen, as a leader, has been cut short. But in the short time he has lived, and I still believe it has been short, he has achieved a lot for his country and for the region. Personally, I was looking forward to working with him as a member of the Speaker's Bureau. Unfortunately, it didn't come to pass. But we, we thank you, the leadership of the parliament and the government of Uganda, in the way you tried to save his life. You did your best to get him the best treatment available, but uh, the timing was not ours. But uh, we thank you for the efforts. Also thank you for the smooth way you have in place the new leadership of parliament, because we, we have to continue serving these institutions that are very important for our countries and for our people. And I, on that note, I also take a, an opportunity to congratulate you, Madam Speaker, and the Deputy Speaker. And on behalf of my colleagues, we are looking forward to working with you. Uganda Parliament has been uniquely supportive of the East African Legislative Assembly. I may not be able to go into the details, <laughs> but uh, there is a special relationship between the Assembly of the region, Ayala, and the Uganda Parliament. And this has been the case from the previous leadership, and we believe it is going to be even stronger under your leadership. So thank you once again for the opportunity to come here and condole with you. And we'll continue to stand with you as you prepare to give a befitting uh, send off.